As Western North Carolina recovers from Helene, there are strides to reopen at UNC Asheville. Classes started back up online yesterday and tomorrow begins a phased approach to open the student residence halls. But not everyone plans to go back immediately. Fox 8 Sarah Winkleman joins us live in Greensboro where a UNC Asheville senior is spending the semester. Sarah. Yeah, that's right, Neil. Her name is Claire Gigley, and she's back home with her parents here in Greensboro, and they live just off of Tate Street, which, of course, is basically on the UNCG campus. Now, while she's happy to be home and safe with her parents, it's also kind of hard because living in this area, she sees students walking to class each and every day, knowing that she can't do that yet. My theory of personality class, which is basically just personality psychology. Claire Gigley is a psychology major. I do like that class. With plans to be a therapist for kids. I want to be a good person to talk to and to listen. But her senior year is not going as planned. I'm not going to go back for the rest of the semester um, because um, classes are going to be online for the rest of the semester. Instead of in classrooms and her dorm room, she's at her family's kitchen table in Greensboro next to her dad. It's nice because like I'm not the only one working and it's less lonely. This week, her dorm room will reopen, but Claire decided it was best to stay put. I thought I should just stay home where there's water and internet. I already know if I go back, my mental health is going to plummet. Back on her computer to finish college, the same way she finished high school during the pandemic. And that was like really hard for me. Claire has one semester left before graduation, and she hopes to get back to campus. Hopefully I'll be able to go back and teachers will be able to go back. I don't know what every like how much damage every teacher experienced depending on how close they live in the area. She left Asheville before things got too bad. We all got a text like an alert and it said that our classes were suspended and so I was like oh, okay then I should probably just go home because then I'll just have like an extended fall break and like I only brought like enough clothes for like an extended weekend. But her stay has turned from days into months she went back once to grab more from her dorm room. There's just a lot of down trees. Campus is cleaned up, but it will take a while for the rest of Asheville to recover. I just like how artsy and beautiful it is up there. It kind of makes me sad because, like, you know, it's not going to be the same there. Um, even, like, when you go back and things are better. And on campus, there is some temporary water solutions in place for potable water for the students that are planning to return to campus this week. However, for Claire, she plans to wait things out here in Greensboro until she can hopefully return in the spring just in time for her to graduate. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News. All right, Sarah, thank you. The University